Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Alona Episode 1. My name is Zukami, and we will be playing Alona. Alona is a roguelike RPG by Noah that is known for being difficult. You'll see later on, but trust me, this is the most unforgiving game I have ever played, in terms of just wanting to kill you. So we will be generating an adventurer. He's got a lot of different races. I'm not going to do any of the extra debug races, but we're going to choose from here. There's all sorts of different ones, like these are basically elves, good for magic and range. Dwarves. These are basically just normal humans. Some other interesting ones. Snail, if you want to make it even harder. For fun, do like a snail. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to go with the Urals, because I want him to have firearm right off. And then you got the classes. Each class has certain strengths and weaknesses at the beginning. But honestly, it's not too important, because later on in the game, any class can do anything if they train in it. So I'm just going to start off as Archer. going to... No, I don't want to proceed. I'm going to roll a few times. Okay. Yeah, that should be good for now. Okay, now you got feats. They all do certain sun. Get anything from just like standard stat bonuses to being sexy. Anyway, I'm gonna be fast because in this game, speed is important. The faster you are, the less chance you have of dying. Another good one is, uh,. Extra constitution. And some extra defense. And then you get an alias, which is basically an, your like last name, and it can be hilarious. I'm talking about, like... Uh, daytime Vixen. I wonder what they are at night. Drones. <laughs> what the hell? Dangerous bouncer. Cat like drug. See, they are. They're just random as hell. I'm just find a dude. Sex. Godly. Fe Let's go. Godly futures. Designing my character. Furry, so I like tail and ears, but whatever. And yes, my dude is. Do that, you get your stat screen, and this is where you'll be looking at this the entire game. Now, uh, as I do this, a lot of this is going to be done off screen just because it's a long game and it's somewhat repetitive. I'll, the first time I do anything and anything I find interesting, I'll show, but a lot of it will be done off screen. Anyway, here we go. This is the backstory go through it slowly so you can read it, but I'm not going to voice it out.
you're thrown off your ship, and somehow you end up in a cave miles away from the coast. Not sure how that works, but the cave's now your house, and you got two people in your house that are somewhat rude. Anyway, they give you a chance to do a tutorial, although the tutorial in this game is pretty much a troll. Like, the first thing he does right here, he gives you some meat he says you can eat. However, if you go and eat it, what the hell is it eat? Derp. It's a corpse of a human, so that's not very good. So just go ahead and lie to him. He don't care. He didn't even think he would. And now he tells you to mine. Go mine your wall out. Yeah, I know it's great. And it gives you a gold bar. Anyway, go talk to him. He says you found Sutton. And he tells you can identify it, whatever. And he gives you a scroll of ID. I'm not going to ID because I know what it is and it's not worth using this scroll. And now he gives you a bow and arrows. And the scroll of vanished curse because the bow he gives you is cursed. We're not going to use his crappy bow because that scroll is valuable. And now he's going to summon monsters in your house. For no reason at all. And I'm going to shoot them down. Need a gun. And yes, you can die in this if you have a class that's bad at combat. And they don't even help. And then he gives you history that no one really cares about. And then he gives you a chest that you will basically never be able to open. Don't even bother using the lockpicks because they're valuable and you can't open that chest. And then he tells you more stuff that I already know that I'll tell you if it actually becomes important. And then I finish the tutorial. And then you can tell them to get out and they give you furniture. Because that's always what happens. Which you can use to increase your house rank. Increasing your house rank actually gets you, uh, you get a salary, which is paid to you, with some items and money. So, you put stuff in there and you get better stuff out of it. Also, something I'm gonna do is, I got a lot of junk in here that I'm gonna take. And some of it's uh, food, which will be useful on the road. Until I have too much stuff. Okay, that's good for now. And then we leave, because there's not much to do here. And then there's the... This person's kind of like a guide that randomly appears and tells you stuff after it's already happened, basically. Except for this part. And they just says again that having too much stuff is bad, and if you read in your house, you can pretty much screw it over. Reading is fun. And you'll see why eventually when I try to read some spellbooks. But right now, we're going to walk to the closest town. Which is fine, the people won't bite, okay, whatever. And then they offer a bunch of stuff. However, we get a pet. You get a dog, a cat, a bear, or a little girl. Yes, a little girl is a pet. That's completely normal for this game. However, I'm even though the girl is technically the best you can start, I'm going to do the dog because I'm, I like dogs. And there he is. He's going to follow me around and die 50 times. Because he's pretty much useless. Anyway. Sell this scroll so I can buy some guns.
what we got here. Also, another interesting thing about this game is each weapon and armor can be made of a certain t material, and some of the materials can be quite funny. Like, a raw, which basically raw meat, kind of, so that helmet's made out of meat. Then you got uh, paper, paper shoes, is pretty fun. Not very protective, but it helps you dodge. Bronze, iron, scale. Not sure how you make a scale shotgun, but hell. Anyway, we're going to buy the bronze machine gun. And I get negotiation. I'm going to go here and buy some ammo. Oh, you do not... We have an energy cell, but energy cells are stupid. Oh, well. Yes, in this game, guns can use energy cells, and energy guns can use ammo. It doesn't matter. Anyway, let's go equip that. Now, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, the game tends to use the old Dungeons & Dragons dice rolls for damage and protection and stuff. It's uh, fairly important, because later on, there can be drastic differences. Anyway... Now that we have guns, can talk to this girl for a quest. She'll tell you kill slimes. Should be easy, it's not easy. We won't be able to kill all of them for a long time. But let's go kill a few of them. Yep, this door, it's locked. Kill that. The red ones are level 2, and the white ones are level 1. Still not too bad. Also, in this game, guns have certain ranges they're uh, good at shooting at. My machine gun actually will do less damage in these two squares than it will do out here. And then if it gets too far, it will start doing less too. So my best thing to be would keep an enemy like here. Or use my uh, dog for basically a tank. more slimes and then we got a room full of stuff and this stuff is good but I am overweight so I need to drop some junk I don't want you garbage broken vase sword And my dog died. Hooray. And that's what I'm talking about. Lucky it wasn't me. Anyway, get some furniture, which is always real good. Some shoes and a belt. can go equip those on my dog once I revive them. Oh yeah, this roguelike is different from most in the fact when you die, it's not over. However, that just lures you into a sense of false security, as this game is a lot harder and more sadistic. And I leveled. And I'm hungry. But that's fine. I am not going to go down that hallway to the right, because if I do, I will pretty much learn the meaning of pain. I'm overweight again. So I gotta drop something here. Take that cupboard. Let's go. Now I'm hungry, too. Let's eat some of these herbs. Herbs are good, because they increase your stats. Except stomophilia, which basically, it's an instant full stomach. I'm gonna save. Always force save. I'm not going to be save scumming for this, just for the challenge of it. There are some merchants. But you, save scumming can allow you to basically recall if you, like, die or something. 
It's basically like an easy way out. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to run this into the ground. Anyway, got some furniture. First thing we need to really do... Wait, some traveler's food, okay. Is actually... Well, since now it's a storm, let's go into the... Shelter. Yes, I can. I know I can go in. Can use this to pass time in uh, storms or ether wind. Ether wind. Not sure how to pronounce that. Someone can leave a comment or something. But anyway, you go down here and time just goes by really fast, and it feeds you, and you basically do stuff. What do we got here? Art of cooking. I don't think I know cooking yet, so whatever. Let's go to this training machine over here. Get off this training machine. Waiting, waiting. Oh, new day. Oh, look, see, there's my salary. First and fifteenth of every month. And it's saved. Oh, thank you. And you, this is a training machine. It gives you small increases to all your base stats, but really small. And it's done storming. And this goes in the doorway. Come on, get out of there. Okay. Still burn. Let's see if uh, any of that stuff is good. Scale Greaves is actually much better, so let's equip those. Okay, each uh, armor and weapons will have DV or PV, which is, DV is pretty much your uh, armor rating. The more you have, the less damage you'll take. And PV is basically your dodge. The more you have, the more often you'll dodge an attack. It's good to have a large amount of both. <laughs> also, gloves, right here. They also give uh, hit bonus or damage bonus, depending, and this gives actually a lot of hit, which is good because as a new character, you miss fairly often on anything that's not low level. And the resistance to fire is just an ingrained thing of it being scale. Different uh, types will have different stuff. Like bronze is resistant to lightning. Anyway, let's go to the town board. This is basically random quests. Some of them are really hard, like here. Some of them are really easy. Or what they say is easy. This would honestly kill me. Dying in a quest is less uh, penalty. There's not as much as dying in anywhere else. But it's still bad and you don't want to do it, so avoid hunting quests until you know what you're doing and have some stuff. The best things to start with are deliveries or escorts. With long times. Like right here, I got an escort to the... Port City, which is good. Got nine days to get there, it won't take very long. Okay, I'm blind because it's a storm and I got attacked, and that's a fucking kobold. Oh crap! Well, I am going to run and I am probably going to fail this quest. Because kobolds will kill me. Come on. Oh god, he's almost dead. Yeah, he died. Friggin' hell. And I'm sleeping. Get, get, get all the way. Oh well. And this, this game is basically run by the RGN, the random number god. Art of tactics. Still not something I know. And because it's ran by random numbers, random things happen. Anyway, I can actually go and 
No, oh, look, see, like that. Someone just stole some of my money. Let's go to the blacksmith though and sell those old gauntlets. Okay, let's try the other one. Palmia. Palmia is the capital city. Okay, this time I got a robber. He's actually a lot less squishy, too. Don't can't afford to have. Right here's Palmia. Okay, this one worked. Complete a quest, you get some stuff, gold, some potion, and a platinum coin, which is the main point in doing them. Platinum coins get you new skills, or you can use them to upgrade your skills. And they are very rare, and they are very helpful. And you basically are going to have to grind them, which I will do a lot off screen. Because it, it takes a while. Anyway, now that we're here, we got that stuff, got some money can go to the wizard who can identify stuff which we will use first thing you should always identify are the skins bones and all that sort of stuff you can get hearts out of monsters because when you identify one of them it tends to identify like all of the same type which is good let's see bone I don't think I need to let's go try selling it Cursed Cloak, don't want. Metal Stones, don't want. Yes, yeah, see, Skin, now is 87. See, normally it says 1 unless it's identified, or it might say more if it's valuable. Oh, got Negotiation. That's Negotiation will make your stuff worth more, which is always good. It builds up rather easily, though, so you don't have to worry about putting much into it. <laughs> if you had noticed, actually, this Light Mail... He was originally going to buy it for 12, but now he's offering 13 since negotiation. If I had, uh, go, let's go ID it, actually, I'll, to make a point here. It was 13. Now he's offering 27, which isn't that much, but that's because it's a piece of crap. However, that piece of crap is better than what I have. By a lot. Which is good, because that makes me take a lot less damage. Here, just take my old one. Which is why I bothered hiding it. Also, something else can get here. What do I got here? Do I have a hat? Let's get some hats. God, sounds like TF2. Okay. Those are too expensive, not really even good. This is the best hat he has. All dodge value. And because I'm using a gun, can't afford that though. Do I have boots or a girdle? I can get a girdle, let's go. I want the chain, but it's too expensive, so I'll take cloth for now. Also, once I get some more of that, I need to get some uh, charisma, because I need to be able to hold more party people, but I need to go revive my dog, and then start working on him. Where is my dog? Actually, first thing I need to do, I just remembered, there's actually a scripted quest in port, which is harder to do if you're high level. So let's go work on that. Just gonna walk there. Probably will speed these sections up. Took a few days, actually, three days, but I'm here. And I'm here for a good reason. Because we're gonna delve right into some of the weird stuff. Here is the biologist. 
and he wants me to get him living specimens for a test. Sounds legit. Now, he gives you monster balls, totally not a ripoff of Pokemon, but what you do, you weaken them and you throw the ball at them. They're weak enough it captures them as long as the ball is at least equal to or greater than the level of the monster. Which means the level 5 balls can catch up to level 5. Which is why, if I had done this later when I'm able to fight higher level stuff, the lower level stuff I would kill too quickly. And it would become a hassle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to find something that won't kill me. Uh, you're probably dead, yeah. See, even these I can already kill quite good. But these are all low level. Thing is, for the monster balls, they need to be really low. Don't want to hit him. He's actually, he's neutral. But he can kill me if I tried right now. But it's good because he's neutral. Okay, not in here. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Kobolds. Kobolds everywhere. Bats are really hard to hit. It's annoying. Ooh, you might actually be low enough. I missed him. Ah, I need to weaken him more. God damn it. Okay, this one, if I hit him, will work. If I can hit him, of course. Oh, no. Damn. Should change the name to like, let's play alone episode one. I can't handle balls. Ugh. Okay, that one is hard enough. Assuming I can hit him. There we go. I have caught a monster in my balls. And now it's full of goblin. Ooh, there's a good one to get from. Don't know if I can hurt him enough, actually. Hermit crabs are basically the opposite of bats. They have really high defense. <laughs> Moving around a bit, sorry. But they almost do no damage. Ooh, that's good. Crit, right there. Awful hermit crabs. Let's go bring them. You don't have to bring them all at once, so let's give them some of these. Because they, they get heavy. The other point to these balls, though, is... Yeah, he just stuck them. It, when you get some of your own, if you capture an enemy, you can actually use it as an ally. Like, you release it from the ball and it follows you around. Totally not a ripoff of Pokemon in any sense. But anyway, gonna kill stuff. Probably will speed this up. No, that wasn't that was a neutral guy, but whatever. He gave me a potion. A spider. And it's getting dark. And I'm sleepy, so I have to go to bed. And I crit. Let's try killing this guy. Yeah. 
Okay, I can kill him. Because of my machine gun. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. This is kind of like... You can sleep anywhere there's a bed. No one cares. Ends don't care. You can do it free. You can just sleep anywhere. Interesting thing about going to sleep is you actually get experience and you can dream certain effects. Which can be really interesting. Like right here I get a regeneration thing which helps out my basically constitution and regeneration skill. And I had a wizard's dream which gives you a certain stock of a spell that you probably can't cast. Another spell. Oh look, I'm getting spells. And I got 10% potential increase. All good stuff. I'm gonna go back out. Probably speed up, but here we go. Let's hunt. She got some snails over there. Some sheep. I know that sheep might actually be killable. Oh, now I can't. Oh, got some marksman. Marksman skill will increase your damage into hit. So it's basically the best thing ever. Yeah. Let's eat some of my stuff here. Got a rotten corpse. Oh, I didn't even know I had a corpse. God damn it. See, my problem with this a lot is just, I'm not entirely great at keeping track of anything. So I'm gonna like derp on stuff that you're probably gonna see, and it's just gonna, it's gonna be amusing. Oh shit. Okay, right here what we have is a hungry demon does fairly decent damage but the main thing it can do it can starve you to death because it has a touch attack where it basically causes you to go hungry luckily I'm faster than it which is why I wanted speed so I'll probably just end up running yeah you do not want them to hit you because like one or two hits from them if it Prox, the conger, can basically just ruin your day. Oh, we might have it. Nope. There we go. Need one more. Come on, hit him. God damn it. And random priest. In the middle of nowhere blesses me. Good, whatever. It's fine. See, but this is what I'm talking about. Stuff can take a while for a YouTube vid. Corpse of Rabbit. Not really valuable. And I got more in touch with the world, which is basically perception. I'm gonna bash this tree a bunch of times, get some lemons. This lemon is probably cursed, so let's try it first. If it is cursed, I'll... Nope, it was actually a good lemon. It was blessed. I had a holy lemon. And red materials. Which you can use to make stuff.
And hungry demon, yep. Demon touches you, touches his starving hand, you scream and you feel hungry. Fuck. It killed it, but at what cost? It's a dead fish. Yeah. So that just basically the food I just ate is now pointless. Ooh, a scroll. Crumbled the grave. Someone died there. Not surprising. A lighthouse is here, but you can't do anything. Get out here, spider. These are thief. Thief didn't do anything, so I can't really talk about it. But thieves, they steal your stuff. They're jerks. Ooh, Firehound. Okay. Thought the kobold is bad. Won't be an easy for Firehound. You will get killed unless miracles happen. Running away. It's what you have to do. Kobold is fast, apparently. He's catching right up to me. Got some snails, which are pointless. And that is a gangster. Named. They're not really that important. They don't hurt very much. Hermit crab, come on. Damn it, you died. Crit. Actually. Marksman. And we got it. Last ball right there. So let's go turn this quest in. Here we are. Find a batch of samples and he can proceed with the final stage, which she really don't want to know about. Oh, I need... No, actually need one more. Okay, I'm in. Derp. Let's go get one more. People keep calling on the phone, even though they're not supposed to be. Oh. Oh, there we go. There. Now he's success. I'm not sure. Gene splicing. Oh. Anyway, he gives you his gene machine. This is the only way you can get it without uh, wishing for it or doing something else. Yeah, you can make wishes in this game. If that ever happens, I'll show you. Now we gotta drag this thing to my house. Which, I'm overweight, so I need to sell something. See what I got in terms of equipment. Got a shield. Got some arrows I'm not going to use. Oh, I know another way I can. Anyway. The stones aren't worth. Got some skin and bone, which is good. Here's something I can do, though. I'm, okay, I'm burned anyway. Let's have fun with potions. Because I don't want to pay to... Oh, leveled. So what we're going to do, we're going to read this blurred scroll. White aura, nothing happens. That may be a scroll of uncurse. However, next time we get that type of scroll, I'll know what it is. Anyway, we also got some potions, so let's drink them. Because drink, drinking random things is good. 
gold potion slowed me down or something. Mist of Silence inhibits casting. So gold potion does bad stuff to casters. And red potion slowed my aging process down. Okay, I'm not sure what that does. However, it says it's a good thing, so... Good for that, I guess. Let's drag this to my house. My shield apparently is wrong. Edible wild plant has rotted. I'll have to drop that stuff. Okay, now. What we've got here is a gene machine. Yes. I'll be using that soon to help make my dog not suck. Anyway, I got a salary. A bottle of dirty water. Well, that's useless. And some gold. The only th There is one use I can do with the dirty water, and I will have to end up doing that. Anyway, let's uh, clean some of my house out more. Okay, the pot's actually furniture. Some of the stuff, it's hard to tell if it's furniture or not. Like, I know picks are actually furniture. I have to get that other stuff later. Oh, something is killed by an audience. Playing. In this game, it's deadly. Especially in this town, and I just lost more gold. Freaking hell. Poor Bard just lost an arrow. But this guy right here, Loiter, he does not like Bards. And he kills Bards. Very, very, very... Just do not play in front of him. Unless you have, like, 60 playing skill. And even then, you might not be safe. Depends on your level. It's just not worth it. However, I got some money. And an extra monster ball. And some crap I can sell. The water... Uh, you know what I can do with the water? Let's try a drink here with the well. Drinking out of wells can do a bunch of random crap. Most bad, some good. Let's take a gamble. Nothing. Some gold. Can drink only so off, so many times and then it dries up. Oh, see, confused. And it's dry. However, because I have that water, I can actually mix it with the well. Which gives the well another charge, which gave me more gold. Which is good, there's some gold. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this off for now. See you in episode two if this actually happens.